Oh, we'll start with makeup. And like, I've been wearing makeup since the start of high school in year nine. And like now I'm in my third year of uni. So, you know, I feel like I've got like a classic look that I go to. And like, it's really fun. So like any age, you know, who's what, anyone who's watching, they might like to see like what I like to use and like, you know, and just, so as I get ready for the day, you can follow me. All right, so what I'm holding at the moment is a primer. You know, they don't have to use a primer, but I feel like it's good if you want your makeup to last for longer. So if your skin is like oily or like, you know, and it's a like hot day, you know, you know, the shine can show through on your face. And you don't want that. <laughs> you don't want like a shiny face. I mean, you want like a, you might want like a dewy, glowy skin look, but not like a really wet face that shows your pimples. But with this, it's a natural radiance. The primer, the Prep and Prime primer. And so you'd follow that, and then next you would have a foundation. And like, you know, there's lots of foundations out there, but like, you know, I go to farmers and that's where I buy my makeup. But this was like a luxurious one that I got for my birthday. And it's like, you know, it's for special occasions or like if you, you know, if you use a little bit, it lasts for a long time. So this is like a, I've got this tested on my skin. This is a Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation SPF 15, full coverage. It's also good for oily skin because it's oil free. Okay. Alright, what should we go to next? Ah, uh, lipstick. I love lipstick. Alright, this colour is... So Amy, what lipsticks do you have there? Alright, so we've got the Vetin lipstick. This one. And so what's that good for? This is a really good everyday lipstick and it's like close to my natural lip colour. So... That's what I always go to because you want to look naturally beautiful. So a few shades darker than your natural lip colour? You can, or you can go for a nude pink look. Whatever you actually, it's whatever look that makes you feel beautiful and, like, and empowered. So, but anyway, you know, that's me. I get so carried away with makeup. Oh, this colour. So this one's more of a nude colour. So I guess that's really good for uni because like, so then people can say, oh, she looks pretty rather than, oh, she's wearing a lot of makeup. So, so once you've got the makeup on and, you know, you've, uh, what should we, okay, that's it. <laughs> Alright, I feel like, I feel, if I was going to do it by myself, I might feel more comfortable, hey. Because I've just shown makeup and it's like, you know, a lot. And I was oh, and you wanted me to help. Okay, sorry, you know, we're starting. It was just going to be something fun, like positive. But you were talking about be being beauty and confident. Why didn't you be beautiful and confident in the video? my sister saying it's not about what you do but it's like what if, so what if mine's a bit different you don't have to fit in like with everyone else anyway talk about the clothes i'm not filming now just talk about the clothes <laughs> so amy what would you say your makeup philosophy is um i as long as you feel like naturally beautiful and i think over the years definitely i've focused a lot on skin because I've had like skin issues where I get lots of pimples on my forehead and now it's like turned to more dry skin. So you've got combination skin, is that right? Yeah, it's on the more it's on the drier side now. I used to have combination skin like in high school. But like I found like since leaving high school my skin has got really dry. And, like especially in the winter time. So me. would you say that eyeshadow crayon there is pretty good for dry skin? The gold one. I would suggest that for you. The gold one? Yes. Oh, is this your favourite? Which one's this? Yes, that one there. This one? Yep, that one. Ooh, now that nice. is the Terry uh, Bronze Moon colour, and it's very popular in um, Mecca, Australia, New Zealand. Ah. And so what you do is you put that all over the lid, and it creates the most beautiful brown smoky eye. Oh, wow, that's a good idea. I haven't really thought of, like eyeshadow sticks before and like since my skin's really dry yeah and also it's really quick for uni yeah that's a good idea and so next we'll move on to eyebrow pencils okay all right i can see some eye this is like a that's this is an eyeliner that's an thing. eyeliner <laughs> no we're talking about um it's the benefit um precision brow just there oh, and so, so what you do with that is you've got the spoolie on one end yeah this end that's correct. And the pencil on the other side. And so, if you want to just give it a go now, um, with small strokes, you do your, you oh. do your eyebrows. Yeah, with small okay. strokes. I'll need a mirror. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> this tiny mirror. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to fill your eyebrows lightly in with the pencil without breaking the tip because every okay. girl has always had trouble with that. It's hard to Okay, so I've got the rest of my makeup it. on, but my eyebrows, I feel like that's missing, so. <laughs> eyebrows frame the face. Okay, so I'll just go in like this. I'm just starting at the Well, you don't want to start too far in because that's like the 2000s eyebrow. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to slowly fill it in from the middle of the eyebrow. The middle of the eyebrow. And it makes it easier to build up. And, now and shorter off. strokes, shorter strokes. So since you've gone quite heavy in the inner corner, what you're going to do is you're going to use your index finger to blend the eyebrow in. This is. Yes, <laughs> and you're going to blend it through the brow. But that's what the spoolie brow. No, no, is the for. finger's better to blend it. Really? Yeah. This looks so good. No, 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 no. You're going to blend it in with the finger and smudge it into. You're going to smudge it up. Yeah, and you're going to smudge it through. I feel like we should yeah, that looks good. You actually do my makeup. And then the other but side. I'm following your instructions. So we'll see how it turns out. That looks good. Is that even? Yes. And <laughs> my eyebrows I mean, eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. <laughs> not like us. Yeah. Okay, Beautiful. so we've got the eyebrows on. I feel like lipstick. That's something we need to do. Right, with, okay. Hurry up, girl. YouTube's oh, yeah. only three minutes. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. What lipstick? This one. For uni? Nude. Pink. Nude? Aren't you supposed to wear clothes to uni? <laughs> yeah. This is a nude lipstick, meaning it's natural looking. Like, it's pale, and if you have a bold eye look, it's also good. Not that you want that for uni. Like, you're very natural. <laughs> okay. Who are you trying to impress at uni? Exactly. <laughs> it's just to make yourself feel good when you're studying and sitting in lectures. Okay. Mm. This is really nice for dry lips. See? Are you inspired by K Drama a lot? Who would yeah. you say your favourite band is? Um, my friends got me into K Drama at the end of high school, and now it's like my favourite uh, band would have to be <laughs> Blackpink. <laughs> They seem to be the like my what, most well known girl band I guess. Like they have a lot of new videos out, but yeah, definitely my friends got me into it, K dramas and everything. So I feel like with the K Korean like beauty, there's a huge emphasis on skincare, like glowy glass skin. So I I like to use. So what have you used on your cheeks then for the glowy glass skin? Uh, I always like to start with a nice face. This is luxurious. My sister, my sister loves this. <laughs> it's really empty. You can tell my sister loves it. <laughs> Look. Pretty packaging. And it smells divine of roses. It's a splurge. But if you're feeling like you need to pick me up with uni, like to feel beautiful or when you're studying and your head's in a book and you're like, you know, it's like, you know, just to feel beautiful and feminine. So, why have you done this YouTube video? I've done this YouTube video just to like, you know, just share lots of like positive vibes and like, you know, and it's always fun seeing like someone, you know, say how they get ready or what their favourite products are. And so what about uh, ideas for clothes for uni? For clothes for uni? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I'll just have a look. 